Hello and welcome to the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'm Brian Strauser, Principal and Chief Executive here at Braypath. And in this episode, I want to talk about the impact of artificial intelligence on the field of crisis management. Now, we've done other videos and podcast episodes over the years, and, and particularly in the last year or so, around artificial intelligence and business continuity and in some other areas. But today, I really want to drill into seven specific applications that I think you can do today with artificial intelligence, with tools like ChatGPT or uh, other specialized tools that are on the market and available to you now, specifically around business continuity. And this will be a little bit of, of AI and a little bit of machine learning, but we're really using these in ways not necessarily to replace what you and I might do from a crisis standpoint, but really around things that you can do today to enhance predictive analytics and to enhance your decision-making processes during a crisis. So here are seven things to think about today. The first one, as I mentioned, is predictive analytics, that artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities can really look at vast amounts of data from various sources, social media, news outlets, uh, other alarms or sensor networks that you have out there, and use those to predict the onset of a crisis and identify emerging threats in real time. The second is art automated response systems. Advanced AI systems can automate your initial response protocols, allowing for faster and more efficient handling of emergencies. And this can include automated alerts or automatic deployment of certain resources, resource allocation, and communication with stakeholders. We see tools on the market today that take a mass notification tool and the idea of a threat intelligence warning system and matching the two of those together using both machine learning and rule-based uh, sets of rules that you establish for automatic, automatic automated alerting to your employees or others, or perhaps to you know, an on-call team that can then further escalate the situation. Number three, scenario simulations and training. AI-driven simulation tools can create realistic crisis scenarios for you um, for training purposes, helping organizations to better prepare and test those response strategies in a controlled environment. We've successfully been using um, AI capabilities here at Brightpath to take uh, to look at many years of lessons learned, uh, reports and actions that our clients have taken. Uh, a client has taken, I should say, just to clarify. Um, and our ideas for exercises for the year and using AI to point out weaknesses in what we're thinking about and to look for other points where we should be applying pressure in those exercises to better help them mature their resilience capabilities. Number four is enhanced decision support. AI can assist decision makers by providing data-driven insights and recommendations. It can give you ideas you may not be thinking about. It can help you reach a decision more quickly, and this enables more informed and more timely decisions during a crisis. Number five is sentiment analysis in crisis communications. And this is one of my favorites because it really shows where these massive um, learning models, language learning models can really understand and consume vast amounts of information. But these machine learning algorithms can analyze public sentiment and feedback in real time and help you understand how to tailor your crisis communication strategies effectively, even when you're in the midst of a crisis. Number six is in resiliency and resilience and recovery planning. AI can help you in your resilience planning by identifying vulnerabilities and suggesting mitigating, mitigation strategies. It can also help you in your recovery efforts by optimizing resource distribution and monitoring progress. We're seeing this today in business continuity tools like Fusion's Copilot, where Fusion Risk Management, a, a leading business continuity tool that we really like here at Brightpath, uh, having AI integration into that, that has helped um, in terms of writing elements of business continuity plans. Last but not least are case studies and applications. Um, looking at recent case studies where AI and machine learning have been successfully implemented in crisis management can really help provide valuable insights and practical examples for organizations looking to adopt these technologies. There's a lot of work being done in this space uh, academically right now, 
Um, I was interviewed for a paper just a few uh, months back for from a group of grad students in Germany that were studying AI and crisis management integration themselves. And their their uh, dissertation, when they published it uh, just a few months back, had some really interesting insights uh, that they had discovered by talking with leaders like myself and others that were really using and experimenting with AI in crisis management. We think there's a lot of potential here and that exploring how you can integrate AI and machine learning into crisis management can help enhance your ability to predict and respond to crises, but also can help give you a competitive edge by improving overall resilience and adaptability. This is a rapidly evolving topic. I'm sure we're gonna talk about this again in the future, um, but it's one that offers a number of opportunities for innovation and improvement in the field. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.